takes a lot of technology to make the WM Phoenix Open a fan-friendly tournament with all those thousands of people out there. On your side, Susan got a behind-the-scenes tour to see how it all comes together. It must have been really interesting, Susan. Yeah, it's an impressive operation. Anywhere you go on the course, you can be connected. Of course, that's really important for fans to be able to follow along with all that tournament information that's all online. But it's also really important for law enforcement to monitor security cameras and first responders to quickly communicate in case of any emergencies. When you get to the WM Phoenix Open, you'll see a brand new entrance. And if you check your phone, you'll find free Wi-Fi. We've got technology everywhere here. Randall Lohr is a Cox Business Field technician. We hopped on a golf cart with him to get an inside look at what it takes to get ready for the greenest show on grass. How much has changed between last year's tournament and this year? Every year they add more and more structures, more and more areas for people. Uh, this just keeps growing. It, everybody wants to come out here and have fun and enjoy the weather. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not as much today. Rain or shine, golfers and fans will be here, especially at the 16th hole. Is the 16th the hardest to wire and get ready to go? We have uh, this year 115 access points just at this one location. So it is the most difficult and time consuming structure for us to wire and run. Where is everything tucked in and hidden? Uh, what are some of the secrets? We're going to show you one of those here in a second. Here it is. Now we're under the 16th. We've got our switch here that controls all the Wi-Fi uh, for this area. Uh, one of our access points up there that's providing the Wi-Fi. And you're protecting this. We are protecting all of our equipment with the tarp to keep the rain off of it in case uh, the rain does leak through. If the equipment gets wet, obviously it'll go offline. It goes offline, then there's no Wi-Fi at all. Danger aspect too, electricity and water don't mix. We did have uh, one year actually at this area one year before we started putting the tarps up where the rain came down, soaked one of our switches and it blew up. So you've learned a lot over the years of being here every year, year after got, year. Sometimes you got to go basic. The tarps may be basic, but there's nothing basic about this. This is the brain of the entire operation. Each one of those fiber jumpers in here, like each one of these goes out to one of the holes out there to one of the fiber switches that we looked at earlier at 16 to control all the Wi-Fi. And you've had to upgrade this over the years. We have, this is our, our newest cabinet. There's plenty of room for expansion. We can add more as this event grows. And we know it's gonna keep growing. To get connected here on the course, search for hashtag free Wi-Fi dash WMPO. First responders and vendors have their own secure networks. And guys, one more word of caution. When you are out here, have your phone out, take all the photos you want, but please make sure yes. your phone is set to silent. Yes, exactly. Yeah, for sure. And on the tee box, don't move around with your phone. Just be as still as you can. All right, Susan, thank you. That was still. really cool.